Hi, Jared Santos here of the Coach PH. Remember to click the subscribe button to be updated with our latest videos. In case you haven't watched the previous video about GoTrade, the video link is in the description box. It took me about 6 days before my account was approved. I learned that GoTrade only accepts IDs such as the following. Non-professional driver's license, valid passport, postal ID, voter's ID, or an NBI clearance. I initially sent a copy of my UM ID, but GoTrade did not honor it. Today, I'm going to show you the following. GoTrade app's user interface, how to buy, how to sell, how to deposit, how to withdraw, what I like about GoTrade, and what I don't like about GoTrade. This is the main page of GoTrade. And the front is your total account value. Currently, it's $15.91. You see here the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ when they close. There's a disclaimer button here. It says it represents your cash plus the current market value of the shares that you own. This may include pre-market and after-hours data. Pre-market and after-hours trading are trading that happens before and after regular market hours 9 30 a.m to 4 p.m et respectively in the philippines this means 9 30 p.m to 4 a.m so here the wish list is like your watch list you can put the stocks that you are monitoring so for me i'm looking at roblox path coursera honest affirm ajc or grab and coupon here are pending orders so i currently have a pending order to sell roblox the stocks that i have are roblox and ui path that's the main interface. And then here, the second button contains your portfolio and your performance for one week, one month, three months, one year, and your all-time performance. There's a pending order here to sell Roblox. My account is composed of $14 cash, $1.91 equity. I have two positions as of the moment, bought both at $1. Roblox has a 7.73% loss and Path has a 1.04% loss. So this is something that is quite a disadvantage when it comes to go trade. Usually, with my broker, TD Ameritrade, I have a stop market order. That means I'm going to cut my losses less than 5%. And in GoTrade, unfortunately, they still don't have that stop loss order. And here, it went beyond my usual cut loss point. So I have an order to cut my losses because for me, I'd rather get a small loss than sit through a big loss. But that's me. And that's my personality. I don't know what it is for you, but that works for me. If I click Roblox, it says here, the average cost that I got it, 1893 I put in $1. Now it's worth 92 cents i lost eight cents so you see here the market cap you see the average volume the earnings per share the one year high and the one year low you see some news here also that is connected to the stock that you are watching it has some characteristics it has your buy history and then it has a story so let's say you want to buy a stock how would you do it i want to buy airbnb it's currently at 151.78. Let's go to trade. That You can put in the dollar amount that you want to buy. Or you can buy in shares. Or you can also buy at the limit price. Let's say I want to buy $1 worth of Airbnb. So that means I'm going to buy a fractional share at market price. The other order type is buying in shares. Let's say you can put one share. But of course, since my account value is less than the amount per share, I won't be able to do that. I have to buy it in fractional shares. The nice thing about GoTrade is the fact that you can buy fractional shares. You can really buy shares for as low as $1. Here, you have a limit order. This is similar to some brokers in the Philippines. You want to buy Airbnb, for example, if it's 151. The order will only be filled if the price of the stock is 151. So if I want to buy at 151.78, I put 151.78. And then you put on the number of shares. So this is a limit order. So okay, let's say I want to buy $1 worth of Airbnb. So I put in $1. It says preview buy. And if I want to buy $1 worth at a fractional share of 0.0065888483 at the market price of 151.78, I just have to swipe up. GoTrade acknowledges the fact that I sent an order to buy Airbnb. It says your order has been received and will be accepted as soon as the market opens. The market opens at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, which is 9.30 p.m. in Philippine Time. Let's say you want to sell. Okay, you have shares of UiPath. So this is just an example. So let's go to sell. And then it gives you the order types again, whether you want to sell in dollars, sell in shares, or sell at a limit price. So I'm going to put preview sell. Selling everything that I have. 
0.01421261 shares. If I want to sell path, I have to swipe up to sell. So now they received my sell order. Let's say we want to cancel the sell order. I go to the spending order page and then I click the X button. The order has now been canceled. So this is a page where you can find stocks. If you want to check, let's say grab, that's AGC. So you want to buy coupon. C limited. You can look for other stocks that you want to buy here in this interface. So it says the top 100, then most popular, social media maniacs, lifestyle brands, taking flight, low carbon footprint, digital dollars, money never sleeps, the robots are coming, couch commerce, and eastern bunny. Let's now go to the fourth button here. So you can deposit to go trade, transfer up to $1,000 instantly to your go trade account. You can use Union Bank, they have a 10 peso fee, or you can use PPI, they have a 12 peso fee. Or if you have a US dollar account, you can deposit and do a wire transfer. For Union Bank, normal deposits take three working days to settle. For instant deposits, our clearing broker will advance the funds to you for these three working days. The current instant deposit limit offered is $999.5. The amount you see here is the outstanding limit available to you right now. It will return to $999.5 once all your deposits reach the US three working days after your last instant deposit. For BPI, it shows you the current exchange rate, $1 to peso. Let's say you want to put in $1,000. Swipe up the deposit log into your BPA account. And after that, you can click complete payment. Let's say you want to withdraw from GoTrade. So you add a withdrawal account. So you need to know your bank account number, your bank SWIFT code, the bank name, the bank address, and then you just click add an account. And funding instructions and help. So wire instructions are here. Recipient will be Alpaca. So this is in case you want to send the dollars over using your US dollar account. These are the things that you need. So here you have your homepage, the personal details, security reports, and other things in general like help, fees, how GoTrade makes money, rules, legal, and software licenses. For me, the main disadvantage is really just a stop loss order. For me, it's very important as a trader. If you don't have a stop loss order, then you really have to manually put in the sell order once the price breaks down. Another thing to note, I noticed that they seem to have higher price points versus my other broker TD Ameritrade. Let's compare four stocks. Coursera's price in GoTrade is $43.72 while its price in TD Ameritrade is $43.64. UiPath's price in GoTrade is $69.33 while its price in TD Ameritrade is $69.32. Airbnb's price in GoTrade is 153.16, while its price in TD Ameritrade is 153.06. Coupang's price in GoTrade is 39.37, while its price in TD Ameritrade is 39.34. These screenshots were taken at the same time. For these four examples, the price in GoTrade is higher by 1 cent to 10 cents or about 0.01% to 0.18%. As a conclusion, what I like about GoTrade are the following features. It has a friendly user interface, it has the capability to buy fractional shares for as low as $1, and ease of funding the account using BPI or Union Bank. On the other hand, what I don't like about GoTrade is the fact that they don't have stop loss orders, and the price of the stocks is higher versus my other broker. If you want to open an account with DD Ameritrade, the video link is available in the description box. If you want to open an account with interactive brokers, click the video link in the description box. In case you haven't watched this video, we also made a comparison to determine who is the best broker for you. Remember to pound that like button if you learned something new today. If you have any questions in this video, please feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button and see you on our next video. God bless you.